Ladies and gentlemen, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you. We're going to be working on this structure behind me. Uh, remember we were talking about this uh, yesterday. Dizzle was messing around with half pieces and uh, came up with uh, this structure behind. Basically, you know, they're missing this in their builds. We have a port shack. We have roomy shack. We have double shack. We have the simple shack. But you know what? They don't have Dizzle shack. So I'm going to show you how to do that, guys. Uh, basically, you can... Use this for yourself, villagers, if you're just starting out uh, with some storage above, um, as well as you can put in your crafting table, crafting bench uh, with some storage and some storage above again, or you can use it as just straight storage. Uh, you can put uh, six, possibly eight. If you really want to go for it, guys, you can put two more right here. Okay, so there are options. I have an area set up uh, on the other side and uh, we'll get started. All right, guys, we're going to go back here because we're expanding this anyway. So I thought I would uh, basically get the tutorial done and as well as it helps me with the structure. So you're basically going to start and you could start either way, but we're going to start with the uh, shack wall number one. And I'm coming off the fence already, guys. Uh, but don't let that discourage you as far as where you want to put this particular structure. All right. This is it'll be your base, whether you start with the small one or the tall one. OK. So once you put that down, then you're going to go into the same area. You're going to grab, scroll down and grab shack, the half wall, number two. You're going to come off of that. Then same area, you're going to grab shack corner. And it's up to you as far as which way you want to face these because they don't have a decorative all the way around. Uh, you can kind of see right there how it's got a notch out of it. So depending on you on your on your preference, guys, I just if I'm facing it, I turn it that way. That's it. Uh, let's see. Then I'm gonna go back and grab shack half wall. This is very easy, guys. It should go fairly quick for you too. Okay. Then you're gonna grab the shack corner. Nuggets working on. Uh, I moved his uh, a lumber mill, so it's probably what he's looking for. Okay. Shack half wall again. Then you're going to finish it off. With the shack wall number one. Okay. And let's go into building parts, supports, shack pillar. Now you could use, I'll show you a couple of options, guys, but you could use whatever. I think it looks best with this, to be honest. Trying to line it up. Okay. Now you got those in. Let's uh, work on the roof. Shack gable left. Which is, depending which way you're facing, could be the right. Okay, and then this is going to be a full piece of shack roof number three. Just snap. Okay, I'm going to grab some stairs, guys. I am in survival. I'm afraid to destroy that. <laughs> it might destroy the uh, granite there. All right, I'm going to go back in the roofs, and you're going to grab one of the gables. Let's see which one we need here. Yep, that one right there. Or, I'm sorry, the ridge, shack ridge. You see how it's got the, uh, not the, the the foundation, but the roof part right there? You want it to line up with that. So that's the right uh, ridge that you want. And then you can go back with shack ridge number four. It should go almost all the way across. And then you finish with the other shack ridge. Okay, I'm going to stay up here. Now we're going to do the roof. You're going to go into floors. Grab shack thin floor number two. Just line it up with your roof. Go back to its red and up one. And you're going to do that three more times. And this will give you that little lip on the end. Okay. Then you're going to grab shack thin floor number one. 
Again, guys, whatever pieces you have unlocked, if you want to enhance this even more, feel free. Uh, Dizzle started over, so that's why I'm only utilizing the pieces that I have right now. The intent for me doing this, guys, uh, if you did not watch the episode before this, I was I'm moving my villagers. They're in there, a few of them, and I was going to build... Uh, originally, the plan was to build it around there, but I wanted to keep that bush in there, so that's why I, uh, I'm, I'm expanding out this way, and I actually kind of like it. All right, so now that that's done... You can put in your floor. This is almost done, guys. Shack wide floor. It's up to you, but I turn it so when you go to shack thin floor, it matches the same direction. And then I alternate it to make it look like it's all part of the same floor. And that was one, two, three. I want to say four. Number three. It was four pieces, guys. Okay. And now we can put in our, our fences. One there. One there. And I bump them in just a little bit, guys. If you've been following my, uh, my videos, you know how I like to, uh, Give it that extra, I don't know why my dude keeps crouching, keep hitting C. It gives it that, that little ledge, a decorative ledge on the side, okay? Now, as far as putting this, this in, you have two options, all right? As you can see here, this one's a little bit higher, but you have to come out to, to that pillar. Or if you want it to go back a little bit so it's not flush, it's going to be uh, same, same uh, level as the uh, shack corner that we use. So you're going to go into building parts. Go back into walls, come down to your half walls, and you're just going to use this as a reference, guys. Another object's in the way. That must be Dizzle. Okay, so right there. And you know, go back into floors. Grab your shack thin floor. And you're just going to move it across so you know that it's a uh, level like that. And you can grab another one. You only need two pieces. For the uh, the starter uh, storage bins, the small chest, okay, and then you can you should be able. It might be a little squirrely as far as trying to get those in. There you go. That one looked like it's off because of the the way the piece is designed. Let me put my torch on so you can see. All right. And then you can take this out. Actually, the, the way that was sitting, it actually works that way too. I had this higher. It wasn't sitting right. So I'll do it on this one. Hopefully uh, Nugget doesn't mind. So how I did this uh, on the other one is I went, put one in like this, and I just put another one on top. And then I got rid of this. Okay. Then the same thing, guys. Come back here. Snap. And then the chests. There you go. And then I put candles. If you have copper unlock, guys, you can go with the uh, the lantern. Again, whatever other pieces you have, too, okay? And you can decorate this how you want. Uh, again, I'm just showing you guys that you can. Like, if, if you didn't want to use the blueprints, you again, the port shack, the roomy shack, the double shack, the simple shack. Now you guys know how to do dizzle shack, all right? And then you can turn this into a, a small little village for yourself. Let me put the torch away. Again, you can do a quick little tour. You can use that for yourself. Build a little bit more of these. Maybe put your villagers in there. You can see the crafting bench is already in here. I don't have it upgraded all the way. Uh, but if you want to come back and watch another video, once I do, I'll show you that it will that it will indeed fit in there. Okay. Then again, you can do this for storage. You can put an extra chest here, an extra chest here. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like now. I have enough uh, planks on me. Okay.
Okay. So that gives you even more storage. And as you upgrade, guys, those the larger storages will probably fit there. Okay. It might you might bump into it coming through here though, possibly. All right. But that's basically how you do it, guys. Again, this is what uh, Dizzle was moving his villagers that are just on beds in the inside, no specific room. And you can incorporate it into an area like this, where you have some of the uh, nature around like that. Expand this way like Dizzle's going to do. Another fire pit back here for these guys. Okay. And as far as the fence, that's entirely up to you guys. But I'll show you how I'm doing that. It's just basically, it depends. It could be one or two. Putting those down. Actually, this might not line up correctly. I'm going to have to mess with this. We'll close it off for now. That way the skellies won't come in here. Yeah, I'm going to have to mess with that. But that's what, that's what I want, though. I want it closed off, okay? So if they do aggro onto them, they got to come all the way around. They won't come in there. Again, you can create yourself a nice little uh, atmosphere with these uh, digital sheds. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that helps. And utilize these guys. And Dizzo will catch you on the next one.